They look great, don't they? We still have like two thirds of the kitchen cabinets left to go. We'll just do a little bit at a time. Do you know how long I've been doing this? I've been helping. Don't act like I made you do it by yourself. I primed it and I put like, you might have done like, like this. And I did like this. Well, you have gorilla arms so you can reach in all the corners. This is not supposed to be a kitchen renovation show. This is a cooking show. This is a quarantine cooking show. I went out, I got 28 days worth of groceries. You went out and you got 28 days worth of groceries. We've had this conversation before. This is right. I went out. No, I got sir. 28 days worth of groceries. No, you were kind enough to put together this recipe book for us to last us the entire month. And the grocery list, and then I pre-ordered the groceries, and we went shopping. And I went and picked them up, and I went to the grocery store three separate times. And I sit in the kitchen and hold your hand every night so we have edible meals. No, you don't come in here and hold my hand. You come in here and try to see what's going on because you want to make sure that I'm not going to kill somebody. I've been doing this for 10 days, y'all. You think I know how to cook just a little bit? Shake and bake. You shake and bake and I help. Tossing your frozen pizza like you know what's going on. Anyway, day 11. This is a household favorite meal. Cheesy sausage, pasta, one pot, one skillet. That's all you're going to need right there. That's it. The whole entire thing. If you got this, guess what? Done. Might as well pack it up. Serve dinner, we're finished. Cause we got this, we're done. Real quick, sausage. Already got mine cut up into little round discs. Pasta. What the heck, why does, do you, you can't even like clean? Oh yeah, it's kind of dirty over there. There's, there's dust. Not, not sure if you can, mm -hmm, dust, right. Not sure if you can see it, paint on the counter. Please. Look, I gotta cook around a step, whatever, anyway. Look how pretty Sausage, pasta. Your choice of pasta for this dish. We like the bow tie. I don't know how to, I don't know how to pronounce that. Far, farfalale, farfa, farfalel, whatever. Bow tie pasta. We like to use rotel instead of diced tomatoes. Give it a little bit of kick in the britches. You know what I mean? Kick in the britches? Yeah, kick in the britches. Get like spice it up. I'm trying like different catchphrases. Anyway. Kick in the britches. That's right. I'm gonna give you a kick in the britches. Just like last time with the chicken, bacon, and gravy. Um, just like the chicken, bacon, and gravy uh, crock pot meal, your heavy cream might not be frozen, but mine is. We're gonna try to thaw it out and not forget it. Salt and pepper, I'll get that out in a minute. Garlic, chicken broth, onions, I'll grab those in a second. Shredded cheese, I'll grab that in a second. That's it, we're ready to rock and roll. You guys ready? Let's do this, I'm hungry. Household favorite dish, day 11. It really is, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. It's pretty hard to screw up too. Day 11, cheesy sausage pasta. Here we go. First things first, Rachel Ray likes to say E-V-O-O. -O. Uh, this is C-O-O, -O. classic olive oil. A little bit in there. You watch Rachel Ray? Oops. I like Rachel Ray. I didn't know you watched Rachel Ray. What'd you do? Nothing. That olive oil is expensive. It's all right. Don't get it all over your pot. You're going to get it all over my towel. Nah. Needs to be washed anyway. Oh, so ready for you to be out of that kitchen. How many more days do we have? Mm, today is day 11, 28, 17. Hey, we're almost halfway done. That's it? That's it. Oh my word. Hey, tomorrow's my birthday. Yesterday was your birthday. Oh yeah, because you're two days. Today is Saturday. It's Wednesday evening for us. Saturday evening for you guys. I hope you're having a good weekend. <laughs> you know, every day kind of feels like a weekend, but whatever. I'm ready for the weekend to be over. <laughs> I never thought I would say that, but I'm so ready for it to be over. I think I'm going to go get another job when this quarantine's done, just so I can see people. Heat up your olive oil in the skillet. In goes the sausage. I'm not going to add my onions just yet because they're frozen. They tend to cook just a little bit faster, so I'm going to cook up the sausage first. If you're using fresh onions instead of frozen onions, go ahead and put those in now. Cook them up with your sausage because they'll cook at the same time. But I'm not putting mine in because the frozen onions cook a little bit faster. So we're going to cook our sausage until we get a nice golden brown color to it. 
And then after that comes the onions. My onions are frozen, so I cook my sausage a little bit first. One onion is about a cup. So there is a cup of our onion. And you're gonna cook the onion until it's transparent. Kinda like my effort painting these cabinets. Thanks. You used the oil-based paint, right? I did. Hey, look, it's white. It's not me. You must have done something to the paint then. I don't know what you're talking about. My onion's almost done cooking. Uh, it didn't take very long, maybe uh, a minute, maybe two and a half minutes or so. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my garlic, and that's a tablespoon. Let me work around the step stool here. I can't fit a tablespoon in here, so I'm gonna use a teaspoon. I don't know how many teaspoons are in a tablespoon. So I'm just gonna do two and a half teaspoons, which is probably about right. And you're gonna cook that garlic for about 30 to 60 seconds. After your garlic cooks, all you gotta do is add the rest of everything else, and then you just let it simmer for 15, 20 minutes, and then we're done. Let's get everything else in there. I'm gonna go ahead and dump my frozen heavy cream in there. Maybe that'll get thawing a little bit faster. <laughs> there it goes. Why is your heavy cream frozen? Because I froze the heavy cream. We probably need a little bit more liquid in there. Is it better when your heavy cream is frozen? You know, frozen heavy cream can go either way. Question. I don't really know how to answer that question. <laughs> Two cups of chicken broth. I'm just gonna eyeball it. That feels about right. Is that how you use a can opener? That's how I use a can opener. Okay. Instead of diced tomatoes, we like to use Rotel. Remember, kicking your britches. And next, we're gonna add a little bit of. Do whoa! Not whoa! Do, you, do not add mineral spirits into your food. That is Get that away from the stove. It's very flammable. That's why you need to clean up after yourself. Get it away from the stove. She about killed everybody. <laughs> Putting it over here with my ingredients. Think I'm gonna like not see it and accidentally put it in. <laughs> you're real funny. You just should confess that you're the one that's been painting the cabinet. You're real, but you just said you were helping out and you painted this area and that's where the mineral spirits were in this area. Well, we both know I don't clean paintbrushes. This is true. Anyway, bow tie pasta. Hold on a second. That's not bow tie pasta, is it? What'd you just do? This is bow tie pasta. Okay, what's wrong? Hold on. That's one pound. This says one pound. Okay. That's 16 ounces. Okay. The recipe, the recipe says eight ounces. Oh, well, I would put the whole box. Measurements are just measurements, you know? We're gonna stir it all in. My heavy cream is almost thawed out. We almost forgot one vital ingredient. What's that? Hey, look, that cabinet's not here. S and P. A little bit of P, a little bit of S, Stir it up, and we're going to simmer it for 15 or 20 minutes. As soon as that's done, you're ready to serve. Are we doing anything else? We had salad last night for a side. We'll probably pull that out of the refrigerator, throw that on a plate uh, for a side for tonight, and that's it. As soon as this is done, I'll plate it up. I'll show you what it looks like, but until then... Aren't they pretty? Look, you missed a spot up there. I'll see you guys in 15, 20 minutes. All right, 20 minutes later, take it off the heat. It says a cup of cheddar jack cheese. I don't have cheddar jack cheese. I just got mild cheddar. Uh, and Jana just informed me she sometimes doesn't do a cup. She does a little bit more. I just eyeball it. We're just gonna eyeball it. You get to watch it though. That's not eyeballing. That's looking at the camera. I'm gonna order it. You're gonna make us all constant. That's like a cup of cheese. It's not even, and there is a little bit. How about a cup and like a 
half or three-ish quarters. We'll go with that. Stir it up and then you're ready to go. Which cheese did you use? The mild cheddar. We don't have any cheddar jack, so I'll for the mild cheddar instead of the sharp cheddar, because I think the sharp cheddar is for something else. Chili, perhaps, maybe. I think it was for this, but that's okay. <laughs> it's cheese, y'all. It tastes the same. How many more days do we have of this? 17. Man, I wish y'all could smell this right now. Mm -mm. Cheddar Jack is probably gonna be a little bit more creamy than this is. This is a little bit more stringy because it is cheddar, but the Jack is probably going to make it a little bit more creamy. Dinner is done. Easy. It probably took, I don't know, 15 minutes to prep everything. Another 15 to 20 minutes to cook this. I will tell you, I did add a little bit more chicken broth instead of the two cups. I made sure that it was almost covered, the noodles were almost covered before I put the lid on it. And yep, that's so it. Added more noodles. And I also added more noodles. So if you're probably following the directions and only do eight ounces of noodles, two cups gonna be enough. But if you're gonna be uh, noodle happy and do a whole box, a whole 16 ounces, you're gonna need a little bit more than two cups. And that's it. Yay. Don't put mineral spirits in your dinner. Don't hide mineral spirits next to where somebody's cooking and then them grab it and about to pour it in there. You did that. Your mineral spirit. I didn't put it over there. Your mineral spirit. I'm gonna plate this up, admire my cabinets back here. They're gonna look so pretty with my fiesta wear in them. I'm gonna plate this up and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I hope yours is just as good as mine. No. If it's the same, if it's the same way you make it, then it's probably going to taste just fine. That's it. Dinner's done. Like I said, household favorite, cheesy sausage pasta, one skillet, 45 minutes and you're done. That's all it takes. 15 minutes prep, 15, 20 minutes simmer time. You're ready to rock and roll. Dinner will be served. Tomorrow, Cajun sausage, chicken, pasta. Tomorrow, that's it. We're done. Day 11 is done. We'll see you tomorrow for day 12, I think. Day 12, right? I don't remember what day it is. It's on the title. If whatever day today is, that's tomorrow. I'll see you guys. I gotta check this and make sure this is ready for another coat. Clean up a little bit from dinner. Pro tip, don't put mineral spirits in your supper. I'll see you guys later. You guys have a good night.